And we got my son Caleb. Caleb, why don't you bring a little uh, little song? Just a little strum, strum the guitar for a minute while All I say right. hi to folks. Hello, we got some people jumping right on. Look at this. Hi, everybody. Allison, we got Pamphrey. Hello, seven others have joined. We got a nice turnout already at four o'clock on the nose. 74 people jumping on. Um, so welcome to week number seven of the Chautauqua, the Palaha Chautauqua. Uh, I've got a very special guest with me today. This is my oldest boy, Caleb Palaha. Uh. And he and I are going to sing. We're going to start the hour off, the hour of song off with a, a duet that he and I are going to sing together today, um, which I'll get into in a minute. But we are, uh, we're coming live and you, I've reached out to everybody and people have, I've got an entire list of people who are ready and excited to sing and share their voices and their talents with all of us around the world. Um, this, you guys, your feedback is so encouraging and it's like water, it's life. Um, people have been so sweet about what this hour means to them at the end of the week and it's given me something to look forward to. And I feel this sense of community with you guys, which I've just loved. So I'm grateful that you're tuning in today. Um, and we've already got a great audience, so why don't we get going? Um, I'm coming to, I just want to put some people on notice today. So uh, Allison Wedding, we're coming at you if you're out there yet. I know that you've got an amazing little song called Anna and the Germ in a book that accompanies it. So I want to hear about that. And I think the people are going to want to hear about that. Destiny and Bailey, we're coming at you today. My friend Reggie Austin, if he shows up, is going to close us out this afternoon. And then Carrie Bow, uh, WV Dream Girl 73, Brill Page in 1991, uh, Cammy Dra uh, Drama Girl, and then Brianna 18. If you guys are out there, I'm coming at you. Um, but we'll play and we'll see. If not them, then somebody. But for you guys, Caleb and I are going to sing uh, a song. Now, this song was written by a friend of ours, a family friend of ours, a man named Dennis Lindy. Dennis Lindy wrote uh, Burning Love for Elvis Presley. He wrote Goodbye Earl for the Dixie Chicks. He is a highly acclaimed and extraordinarily prolific songwriter out of Nashville. He's no longer with us, but his, his wife and her children are. Uh, in fact, one of his daughters is uh, his aunt, my sister-in-law, my, uh, my, my wife's brother's wife. Um, so he wrote a song called Peaceful, which is pretty good, right? It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Caleb and I, we um, decided that we we're going to sing it for you all today. So we're going to start the hour off with a little song called Peaceful. All yeah. right. Oh, 
side But now I feel peaceful Mighty peaceful By your side Oh, but now I feel peaceful Finally peaceful By your side Oh, now I feel peaceful Mighty peaceful By your side But now I feel peaceful, mighty peaceful by your side. Boom. <laughs> there you go, guys. Caleb, my son. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, kid. I love you. Thank you for sharing your gifts with us, man. Of course. Um, we'll have Caleb back on another time, and he can come in and have a little solo run at it. Uh, welcome, guys, to uh, the Bolaha Chautauqua, and we are ready to go live to you, to the people. So I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start by going to Allison. Allison, happy to have you on the Palaha Chautauqua. We'll wait for her to come along, and let's see what we got. Hi. Hi. How are you, Allison? I'm <laughs> good. How are you? It's that good. was that was beautiful. Thank that was you. Really, really beautiful. You guys Thank have the you. same voice. I know it's a little weird, right? He's the. I was like, wait, who's version. singing? <laughs> yeah, no, I know his voice is beautiful. Yeah, he does a lot of cool stuff with it so far. Um, how are you? So tell us about. So go ahead and tell us about what's going on. You have, have you written a book? No, I wrote okay. the song that accompanies wrote, the book. Okay, so, so let's let's. Go the ahead. book is called Anna and the Germ That Came to Visit, and it's written by Christiane Klein and her mother, who's a therapist. And Christiane was, um, she has a two-year-old daughter, and she was f noticing that her daughter was asking questions about, you know, like saying her doll was sick, and she's, you know, picking up stuff about the pandemic. And so she, she was like, we got to write a book about this to help kids understand and, and help families deal with it. So. Yeah. Um, this is Anthony Sattel. <laughs> and yes, hey, Anthony. we're in a closet right now, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, yeah. but anyway, Anthony uh, came to me and said, we should try to write a song for this book. And I was like, okay. And he gave me a few of the key phrases, and then the song just came out, and then we recorded it. And then That's we awesome. also, so yeah, we'll, we'll do that for you. And then we also made some 20-second hand-washing mixes for kids to listen to rather than singing happy birthday all the time. You awesome. Know? Perfect. That's awesome. Well, let's um <laughs> let's let's hear the song. Okay. <laughs> let's go for it. Here we go. I love that you guys are in the closet. <laughs> song of quarantine i mean that's a really uplifting hopeful song a little oh, anthem for, you know just waiting it out that's great you guys did a beautiful job thank you so much it's that's it's really cool really now, anthony 
how, ahead, how's yes. he, he how's he because i you've got a mask so clearly yeah, you guys are you know. a little bit of distance <laughs> yeah <I'm trying laughs> there you to. are hey how are you i'm um, all right and so this was your the brainchild came from both of you guys or one of you guys or um yeah it came from both of us i it's it's a funny story i <clears throat> i knew her when i was a kid in college and then she moved here to teach and then my brother his wife is the one who wrote the book so okay i have an entertainment okay. company in in miami and i have a lot of bands and stuff and i'm always writing music and then we just came up with this together and and it's awesome yeah, yeah we're starting to really awesome. do we have like some other children's songs we're doing it's really turned out to be quite a it's really cool. And you know, what's amazing about quarantine is that um, we've got this, we've got kind of everybody's attention right now. And so if you've got something you want to say, you can jump on social media and everyone's doing the same exact thing. Like everyone's just kind of looking for ways to pass the time. And that's a really sweet little song that kind of, that's cool. That's very Thank cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, we just have, you know, it's turned into kind of a positive thing and just got, yeah. gotten really excited, gotten, you know, we recorded all this you know, on GarageBand and Logic. I mean, it's- That's amazing. It's pretty... Where can people find your song and where can people find the book if they want to go online or if they want to go to Instagram? How does that work? Because I also noticed that the, there's been some news outlets, the media's picked up on it a little bit and it's- Yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. The book is at www.thegermbook.com. And nice. the song you can find, it's called Hey Germ, Go Away. <laughs> hey Germ, Go Away. And you can find it on any of the streaming services. and like iTunes. Yeah, Spotify, iTunes, Spotify, iTunes, all, all those of things. Okay. So, yeah. Well, guys, Thank go support you. each Thank other. You. If you're out there and you heard that, go buy it right now. How much is it on iTunes? How, can you, how much can you get it for? Oh, it's like hey, 99, 99 cents, cents yeah. I think. Come on, that's nothing. Go get it right now. <laughs> after, after the show, go buy the song. <laughs> Thank you that's so easy. much. All right, guys. Thank you Thanks for sharing for with us. us. Appreciate you Bye. all. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye now. Okay. See, it's as simple as that, guys, and as beautiful as that. I love it when people can come together and have the tenacity and the boldness to share uh, their their gifts. Um, can we draw a girl? Coming at you. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> You seem so shocked. You're like I just I, I thought I I thought I did something wrong. My my uh, my feed froze, and oh, so my yeah. And so I was like, oh shoot, what do I do now? <laughs> so I so then I was like, okay, it's not requesting. Oh, hello. So <laughs> yeah, it did. It did. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing pretty well, thank you. How are you? But it's so weird seeing people in live who I've. Because if you follow me and you make comments on my page, then oftentimes you'll notice that I'll respond or sometimes oh, sure. I'll go to people's pages and I'll like people's pages. So you're very familiar to me. Um, so <laughs> You have no ahead. idea how happy that makes me to hear you say that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was like, wait, I know you. Um, so do you have a song you want to share with us today? So I, um, I have been trying to have a little fun during this time because, uh, you know, it's a very stressful time. And I am, I'm the mom of four and I have uh, kids from nine to two. And so that has been kind of a eh, harrowing experience. Yeah, that's a lot. And, so, <clears throat> and I, was a, I was a theater major and I did a lot of musical theater when I was younger. And so I would love to do parodies just make up a, a, a bunch of different words to different songs and nothing was coming to me and then all of a sudden two things hit me so i'm going to have you decide chris you get oh, to no. choose which one i do oh no okay so, what are the titles <laughs> so the first one is a parody uh the first one is a parody of how do i live by leanne rhymes okay. and it's how do I live without one calls the heart? Because <laughs> okay. I'm a big hearty and it, of course, it just, okay. the season just ended. And then- But they got renewed, so that's the good news. What was that? They got renewed, so that's the good news. That is very good news, yes, indeed. <laughs> and then the other one is an all-encompassing Hallmark parody of Do You Want to Build a Snowman? Mm. And wow. 
your name is actually in that one. Well, see, so. then that you just kind of sold the deal. You kind of you know which one I'm going to go with. <laughs> of course, I do. We got to go with the Hardys one. No, I want to hear. The, I want to hear it to build a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm just going to get over by a door so I can have the full effect. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love I can... this. I love my this. my arms are very short, so I'm gonna see if I can. <laughs> okay, here we go. Honey, do you wanna watch TV with me? Yes, it is when calls the heart. You've gotta see Lucas Bouchard, though it might be hard. Don't tear your hair apart. But Lee will be there smiling. He is your fave. Nathan tries flirting too. Do you want to watch TV with me? When calls the heart is lots of fun, you'll see. Go away, Cammy. <laughs> okay, soon. Do you want to watch TV with me? We can sit and cuddle close. Signed, sealed, and delivered. We'll make you shiver with letters that don't post. The postables find fathers and mothers too. They reunite lost loves. <laughs> and then we have the big dramatic music that I do not have access to at the moment. And then. Nor do we have the rights to it, so that's okay. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, honey, please, I know you're in there. I'm seriously at my wit's end. <laughs> I want Palaha and Jen Lilly. It's not silly. And BJ Lenz. <laughs> I really need my hallmark, Erin Krako. Andrew Walker, too. Do you want to watch TV with me? <laughs> I love that. Uh, you could have written me apart. It would have been like, oh, my. Uh, that's amazing. You know what my, you husband, do? my husband's downstairs with the kids, so I can do this. So. Right. He's watching Hallmark Channel right now. This is oh, right absolutely. Now. Yes, of course. Um, you know what you should do? You should have fun with this and do a little, have you put it on YouTube yet at all? I'm going to. You should. You should have your yeah. husband film it and like do a fun little, sweet little send up because it's cute. It's really cute. Oh, thank you. No, yeah. I, I am fully intending on props and a tiny bit of costumes and having, you know, the really big harrowing part with me trying to corral the kids and all of that. Oh yeah, it's it's all it's all gonna be a video at some point. I just have to. You don't have the time, have the time because yeah, you don't <laughs> actually have the time right now. <laughs> no, no, we're no we're thinking about tomorrow because no schoolwork to do. My husband doesn't yeah. have to work on Saturdays because he works from home. Okay. And okay. so prob probably going to be doing it tomorrow. I hope so. <laughs> well, you have something to work with. So thank you yeah. so much for sharing your gifts with us. We appreciate you. Thank you. I appreciate right. you doing this. This was fun. Yeah. Well, thank you for jumping on and doing it with me. You're welcome. And All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Awesome. 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 Look at that. See, it's kind of amazing, guys. You put it out there and people show up. Um, okay. Are you ready? Rachel Iducci. We're coming at you. She's unable to join. What the... Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see if Teresa Cole can join. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Now I'm going to be singing. Uh... Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. What's your name? Teresa. Hi, Teresa. How are you? I'm doing good. Okay. Do you happen to have a song that you want to sing on today's edition of the Sing Along Palaha Chautauqua? Yeah, I was going to sing something um, that I do at church. I love that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and uh, where, are you, where are you coming in from? Um, Mills River, North Carolina. Mills River, North Carolina. 
Love that mm -hmm. too. Um, do you listen to the boys from Deck the Hallmark? Yeah. The podcast. They're South. They're, they're South Carolina, right? Are they North Carolina? Do we know? I'm um, one of them. I'm not sure. They're, they're close to you, anyway. Um, Probably. Okay, Miss Teresa, I'm going to hand it over to you. Take it away. Okay. So I normally um, sing at church, and of course we've been, um, you know, streaming everything lately. Uh, so it's been a while since I've actually got to sing at church um, with everything. But anyway, I'm going to sing uh, Calvary's The Reason Why. Okay, thank you. I was lost, but you knew where to find me. I was hungry, you were food for my soul. I was thirsty, you brought living water. You were my shelter when I had no place to go. Sometimes I just want to praise you. Sometimes just to speak your name. Sometimes I just want to thank you. Oh, without even asking for one thing. Sometimes I lift my hands to you. Sometimes all I can do is cry. Everything I have, I owe to my Lord. Calvary's the reason why. When I think of the love that he's given when i think of the price he paid for me then all the trials of this old world seem like nothing when they're compared to dark calvary <laughs> Girl, you got some pipes on you. Thank you. Oh, that was beautiful. You took me to church. You took me to church. Amen. <laughs> that was awesome. Good for you. Thank you. What a gift. What a blessing to share that. I love this little community we've got here. And I was watching some of the notes as they were flying up, and you just had people. You were like, people were loving it. You did a great job. Thank so you. Thank you for shining a light on Jesus. That's great. I love that. Um. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming here and sharing yourself with us. It's a really, really. I, I thank mean, you for sharing with us too, Chris. It's been very helpful in this time. Well, I'm, you know, it's a weird, this is, it's unusual. These are unusual times. And I think if we ever just stop, if we just focus on the news and we just focus on how scary it is out there, it could be debilitating and not just with the virus. Yes. That's going around, but I think economically people are starting to feel as we're getting into our third month of quarantine. Oh yeah. And if you don't have a job, if you were furloughed or laid off, um, I know that people are hurting right now. And it's so mm -hmm. it's like everyone's getting it, you know, everyone's getting it. So mm -hmm. I know that there's a lot of stuff going on because we have the time, but this has just become a really sweet place to meet every week and join up and, and, you know, celebrate. We got a little breath in our lungs and a heartbeat going on and oh, some yeah. feelings. And so, and you just made it all the more special. So I'm really grateful, Teresa. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. All right, sister. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bless you. Bye. Bye. Look at that. See, that's what I love. Okay. Um, Nikki Stu, are you out there? Do you want to sing Nikki Stu? Okay. If, I, if you're Nikki, if your name is Nikki Stu or Brianna-18, um, say hi. Say hi. Let me see. Oh, there you are. Hi. Here we go. Um, okay, Brianna, I'm coming to you.
Hi. Hi, Brianna. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Where are you coming from, Brianna? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania? What part of Pennsylvania? Um, do you know where Allentown is? Yes, I know where Allentown is. My dad <laughs> was there. born and raised in Allentown. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. So Lehigh, Bethlehem, like that whole little area. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you, know awesome. any, do you know any Palahas out that way? Because there's a ton of us running around the hills. Uh, I, I don't think so. That's interesting. Okay. Um, that's awesome. What are you going to sing today? Um, I think I'm going to sing Man in the Mirror. Go for it. Okay. Let me get I'm going to make a change for once in my life. It's gonna feel real good, gonna make a difference, gonna make it right. As I turn up the car on my favorite winter coat, this wind is blowing my mind. I see the kids in the street, not enough to eat, who am I to be blind, pretending not to see their needs. A summer's disregard, a broken bottle top, and a one-man soul. They follow the pattern of the wind, you know, because they got nowhere to go. That's why I want you to know I'm starting with a man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. No message could have been any clearer. Wanna make the world a better place? Take a look at yourself and then make a change. Oh, na 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 na. I don't know how long you're gonna go. I loved it. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! I was about to go na na na. <laughs> um, you've got a gorgeous voice. Thank you. Do you what, um, are you in school? Are you in college? Are you in high school? What, what are you? What, yeah, what, I'm in college. You're in college. Do you practice? Yeah. I mean, are you studying to be in, uh, in music at all? Or is it just the talent that you have? That you just kind of. No, have? I sing in church, but yeah. that's about it. Man, you got a little superpower. That's awesome. Have <laughs> you ever tried out for like one of the singing shows? I actually did, but I didn't make it. I, yeah. I tried out for the voice. Okay. Well. Keep going if you want. You've got a beautiful voice. That was really Thank awesome. You. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing, Brianna. You're welcome. Appreciate Thanks it. for having you, me. Of course. Are you guys doing okay in the quarantine? Is everything good? Yeah. 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 It's a little hard. What year in college are you? Uh, my second. So you just found your rhythm, and then you had to come home, and you're still, I assume you're still doing classes. Yeah, I'm actually in community college. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I already was home, so it's okay. I'm I'm transferring next semester, so I'm hoping by yeah. then I'll be able to actually go there. But everything's back in normal. Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate you. Yes. Thank you for having me. All right, Brianna. Bye. Okay. Bye. Wow, that was really cool. Um, okay. Let's see. Do 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 do. -do. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with, let's see, I think someone said try Rachel again. Nope, she's not a real joy. I'm going to try Tiffany Clark. Are you ready? And then uh, Brill Page 1991, if you're out there. Um, so Rachel, I don't know. I keep trying to, to have you come on, Rachel, and it's not working. Um, so I'm going to try you one more time. Yeah, it says you're unable to join. I'm so sorry. And then, um, Bro Page 1991, if you're there, and then Caribo, are you out there? Caribo. Um, there you are. But it says, Carrie, it says you're unable to join too for some reason. I wonder why. Oh, part of the thing is if you, um, hey, Christy Fisher, 1970, said, Chris, just curious, did you expect to touch recently? Why isn't you decided to do this weekly live gathering? No idea. I mean, it's been an overwhelming blessing. It's something that was so easy to do, to just say hi. Um, yeah, it's been a really cool. All right, let's see Van, Social Savvy. If you have a song, I want to hear it. 
So, uh, Carrie Bo, if you're on your home computer, I can't, but if you can get onto a phone, I can do it through your phone. Hi. Hi, oh. <laughs> I'm Carrie Bo, but I'll take it. You're not Carrie Bo. I was talking to Carrie Bo because her daughter, um, her daughter just tried out for a, a voices thing and her daughter was going to sing for us, but she's unable to join. And I'm worried that some people, if they're trying to get through their computer, you, I don't think you can do it through your computer. I think you have to do it from your phone. Um, yeah, my phone. Do you, do you have a song? I was going to do a classic song. I love classic songs. Can you introduce yourself to everybody? Who are you? Howdy, I'm Vaughn, um, originally from Dallas, but currently living in Detroit. Okay. And by day, oh. I'm a marketing executive. By night, I have a Smule app that I sing for fun, for stress relief. <laughs> okay, okay, awesome. Um, go for it, let's do it. I'm pretty sure most people know this, and I just got done with running to the grocery store, so I have not warmed up. So <laughs> okay. we'll deal with the pitchiness. Okay. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, and the dreams that you dream of once in a lullaby. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops high above the chimney top that's where you find me somewhere over the Birds fly, and the dreams that you dream of, dreams really do come true. I shortened that version. I right? love it. No, it's perfect, Mom. <laughs> it's perfect. You know that it's one of those songs that when you start hearing it and someone chooses to sing that, it's like the right song, especially for something like this. And it was beautiful. You did a great job. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. This is really welcome. fun. I'm really now, doing you, such a good job. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this is easy. I can get, I mean, yeah, I can do like my in my living room right now. It's the simplest thing in the world. Um, are you guys in in Detroit? Are you? Is everyone standing inside right now, or have you guys kind of started to move to the outside again? We're actually mandated to stay home until the fifteenth. Okay. So then May after 15th. that, yeah. After, after that, that, we'll hopefully we'll reassemble back into society. <laughs> okay, okay, good, yeah. good. Um, well, Vaughn, thank you so much for sharing your talents with us. I appreciate you. Bye. Thank you, bye, see ya. Bye. Okay, that was awesome. Um, I don't know if you guys saw the Judy Garland movie with uh, uh, um, Renee Zellweger. Um, that always reminds me of that. Okay, I found a little note, hold on, here you go. All right, Avery, coming to you, kid. We're coming straight to you. I'm going high. Hi, Avery. Hi. How are you? This is Carrie. Hi, Hi. Carrie, how are you, mama? I'm good. Oh, um, turn this off. So, Avery, what grade are you in? I'm going into my senior year of high school. Okay, so you're currently a junior, but you're just wrapping yes. up your junior year. So what about SATs? Did you get to take your SATs? Um, I took them earlier in the year, but my, the ones I was going to take rec like soon, they were canceled. So. Yeah, they were canceled. Um, and what about col well, college applications are next? So you still have a little time to like take those tests and do all that stuff. Um, and your mom has informed me that you've recently applied or auditioned for a, is it a voices? Explain, explain. Explain, so, explain yourself. <laughs> um, I've been in choir since I was in fourth grade. Okay. And right now I'm in the high school choir. I'm in the varsity choir, the um, chamber singers, which is like the higher up. And uh, I'm the vice president. But the audition that I was doing was for the show choir called Shades okay. of Blue. Okay, cool. Uh, so that was well, the option. Take it away. Yeah.
You're going to tell them what it's from? Oh, yeah. Why? Can I, can I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. She makes it better than all the time. She's like, I got it, Mom. Yeah. I got it. Um, I'm singing When He Sees Me from Waitress. Okay. The movie that was starring Nathan Fillion and Carrie Russell that was later turned into a Broadway musical. Oh, okay. I'm not defensive. I'm simply being cautious. I can't risk reckless dating due to my miscalculating while. A certain suitor stands in mind. I've seen in movies, most made for television. You cannot be too careful when it comes to sharing your life. I could end up a miserable life. Oh, sorry, girls, but he could be criminal. Some sort of psychopath who escaped from an institution somewhere where they don't have girls. He could have masterminded some way to find me. He could be colorblind. How untrustworthy is that he could be less than kind? Or even worse, he could be very nice, have lovely eyes. Make me laugh, come out of hiding. Oh, what do I do with that? Oh, what if when he sees me, I like a man he knows it? What if he opens up a door and I can't close it? I'm not prepared for that. I'm scared of breaking open. But still, I can't help from hoping to find someone to talk to who likes the way I am. Someone who, when he sees me, wants to Avery, you have so much confidence for a junior in high school. Thank and, you. you know, I think that we all have to take a minute to, um, to remind ourselves that this is a public forum. And so right now, like, you've got 170 people checking you out live, but then this thing goes on Facebook, and I keep amassing, like, it's going to see, like, 10,000, 20,000 views at the end of the day, and that just, and that'll live on for whatever. And when you, which isn't a huge number, by the way, in the world of social media, it could be a lot bigger, whatever, but... The idea of getting up and singing in front of people. Um, I remember when I was in high school, I got up, my parents had me get up and sing karaoke. We were on a vacation in Hawaii and this table of Japanese tourists, they were like freaked out. They loved it. And they bought me, you know, they wanted to buy me shots. And my parents were like, what? He's a junior in high school. The point being that little tiny step that I took gave me encouragement for the next one, which gave me encouragement for the next one, which then led to this career that I have, which is up in front of people. And so for people like you and Brianna, who are so young and who don't have a ton of experience, obviously you do because you do the show choir, but that's also you with a ton of people. All that to say, well done you. You've got a great voice and a ton of confidence. And uh, I'm sorry that your school year was cut short, but I hope that you'll get opportunities to, do you do the school musical? Do you do the high school musical? Um, I'm going to audition for next year's, yes, but yeah. I haven't asked. Okay. Yeah, you should. It'll be fun. It's a fun way to get up and stretch your stuff. Um, well, thank you, ladies. I appreciate you sh uh, spending your Friday afternoon with me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for Bye now. <laughs> Bye. Of course, you are awesome. Bye. Bye. Kind of rambled on my story there, uh, but it was still, she did a great job. Okay. Um, we're coming, we're coming, well, look at this, we're halfway through the hour at, um, do I have, let me see, okay, Rachel, you keep wanting to do this, and I want to get you on, but it says you're only a little join. So, is Nikki Stu out there? Nikki, are you there? Nikki Stu. Uh, Nikki, if you're listening, and you want to sing this is your chance. Beth has a birthday on Monday. And uh, so Beth, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. It's a little early. And you're right, my wife has a birthday on Friday. 
Nikki Stu. <laughs> I'm coming at you, kid. You ready? All right. We're going live with Nikki Stu. Hi. Hi, Miss Nikki Stu. How are you? Good. My actual name is Trina. Trina. Nice to meet you. What's, what's Nikki Stu about? My middle name is Nicole. Okay. Okay. Oh, and Stuart is my last name, so oh, like yeah. it's kind of. Trina. Um, my well, daughter would like to say hi, if that's okay. Your daughter? Yeah, yeah. She's nine, and she absolutely loves you. Your daughter is nine and loves Hi. How you doing, kiddo? How old are you? I'm nine. I'm You're almost. Nine years old. You know, I've got a little nine-year-old running around the house. His name is Jude. Um, are you enjoying homeschool right now, or do you did you normally go to, like, regular school, or? Yeah, I normally go to regular school, but yeah, it it's very it's it's stressful being at home. <laughs> it's a little different, right? Do you miss your friends and you miss your teachers? Yeah, we're doing a virtual school though, so yeah, that's good. That's what Jude's doing as well. So he gets a little bit of it every day, but yeah, it's different, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is your mom gonna sing for us? Yes, she is. <laughs> Do you know what she's gonna sing? I'm not exactly sure. What it's called. <laughs> I'm, go I'm going old school. I'm going to do a hymn if that's okay. I love hymns. Yeah. Where are you coming from, Trina? Where, where do you guys live? Coming from uh, outside of Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Oh, awesome. So, Williamsport is the home of Little League. Yeah. Yeah. And we're like 30 minutes east of there. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Well, take it away. All right. <laughs> Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see, all I have needed, thy hand hath provided, great is thy faithfulness, Lord unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings all mine with ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. <laughs> love it, yeah. love it. The whole time, I mean, if you've ever gone to church long enough, you know that hymn, it gets into your bones, and the whole time I was thinking, about, Great is thy faithfulness. I'm like, I'm harmonizing with you under my breath. I was trying to harmonize with your son and you when you were singing the first song, when oh, you sang her. So. Uh, well, thank you. No, it's a, Dennis Lindy wrote a beautiful song. We just, we love it. We love it. Really nice. So we were excited yeah. to share it with you. Well, that was a beautiful song. And you guys are doing okay in quarantine. Everybody's healthy and everyone's safe. Yeah, everybody's healthy. Yep, I'm working remotely from home. Um, so that's a different challenge. Sure, um, yeah. So, um, my and husband's got a nine year old that you're <laughs> as well. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Yep. But we're well, doing ladies, okay. Good. Well, thank you for simply spending your Friday evening with me. I appreciate it so much and sharing your talents. What a blessing. Thank you for doing this. And um, it was really nice to meet you face to face. Pleasure to meet you too. Nice to meet you too, young lady. Bye, <laughs> too. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Golly.
you know, I think about the world and I think about how many wonderful, beautiful people are in it. You know? All right. Um, hey, Blue Jay Sharon, you guys just asked me to say, please share some of your testimony. If you go to my Facebook page uh, and go to the Good Friday uh, Chautauqua, I actually talk about it there. Um, yeah, I think I am going to continue this after when the quarantine is going on. Um, all right, I've got a question for the folks out there. Oh, did we do? Okay, so Allison, yeah. Um, okay, and how about Brill? Oh my gosh, hold on a second. Hold on one second. If I'm requesting you, you don't have to sing. I just want to say hi to you. I can do a Jimmy Stewart impersonation on a dime. Just like that. Jimmy Stewart. Did you ever see Jimmy Stewart talk about his little dog on Johnny Carson? I see a Johnny Carson movie. Well, uh, our guest tonight is the wonderful uh, Jimmy Stewart. And then Jimmy Stewart's like, a little dog. I wrote a poem about my little dog named Bo. And then he has this beautiful poem about his dog named Bo and how he throws a tennis ball and the dog goes and gets it. And, um, all right, I think this young lady is not going to pick up, which is okay. But um, man, I wanna meet you face to face. All right, let's see, um, what else we got? Hey, if Reggie Austin is watching right now, Reggie, are you out there? Are you in the world? This is a co-star of mine from Life Unexpected. And he has got an amazing voice and he and I sang um, a song together that I wrote. I was inspired by, by Brittany, uh, Life Unexpected by Little Lux. And, um, and uh, I came up with this song called Carry On. And uh, Reggie, help me. So Reggie, if you're out there, let's bring it on, baby. Oh, you met Jimmy Stewart at the racetrack? That's awesome. Here you are, Brittany. Okay, coming to Brittany. Oh, why are you unable to join? Okay, Brittany cannot. Let's see. We're going to go live with Destiny. Hello, ladies. Hi, I'm not Brittany. <laughs> You're not Brittany. I tried I'm not to get Brittany. Brittany. Brittany, I think, is maybe trying to come from a computer. Maybe not a phone. I don't know. But it said she's unable to join. But you guys are oh, able to join. Oh. And the show must go on. So we'll circle back and try to get ready before the end of the hour. Um, <laughs> look at how pretty you both look today. Oh, Bailey. Thank you. We finally started, um, you know, putting clothes on and trying to put some makeup on and <laughs> slowly come out of the quarantine. Yeah, the haze of wearing sweatpants and, and yeah. the, the, draw, was... the shutters drawn all day. I know. Yeah. Yep. Um, you guys sounded great, by the way. Thanks. Caleb is, oh my gosh. You didn't get that to meet boy. Caleb, yeah. No, yeah. just Micah. Micah, yeah. Micah. But yeah, he is so good. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. Little, is he wanting little. to do that? Like He kind of does, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he kind of does. And I keep, you know what, to be honest, I love being an actor and I wouldn't trade it in for the world, but if I could do it all again, I would I would try to become a singer. Because That's I just think, you know, it's funny. Not too late. It's 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 too late for me. <laughs> I got a I got a family to support. I got I got people to feed, but um. You get on the side. There's a there's something about um that whole musician lifestyle that seems so appealing, and to be able to get up and music is such a powerful thing, and like just hearing everybody sing, mm -hmm. like people are getting chills, and it's just such an amazing way to. So I'm encouraging them. I'm like, you guys should start a band. Call it the Poe Boys. Write your own music. Go on Big tour. Step. Do the bar mitzvah for the bot mitzvah circle here in LA, <laughs> and then go to college and do the bar circle. I did all circuit. that and, back yeah. in my day. Yeah. All and, that. You know what, it. though? I mean, like, just, they're so young. Like, they've got their whole, they can do it, especially if he plays an instrument. I mean, once you learn an instrument, you're going yeah. to. Yeah. Well, that's what his, yeah, with the guitar. Um, yep. I don't want to waste your time. Do you ladies okay, have a song yeah, you want to sing for us? Yes. Um, this song's like three and a half minutes. You want us to cut it? I know you're. I'm not. No, like it's 10. only it's 450. So we have 10 minutes. Okay. So I think I can get one more guest in after you guys. And so you take okay. your time and do your thing. All it's right. This is a song from um, well, it was a movie and a Broadway show once. I don't know yeah. if you've ever heard of it. Um, right. It's called Falling Slowly. Beautiful song. Go for it. All right. 
It really can works. And time? Bailey, are you gonna? Are we gonna be able to? Yes. Yeah. 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 Challenged. Okay. Okay. Can you see? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a gorgeous. I don't know you, but I want you all the more for that. Words fall through me, always pull me, and I can't react. <laughs> Games that never amount to more than they're meant will play themselves out. Take this seeking boat and point it home. We still got. Time, raise your hopeful voice. You have a choice. You've made it now. Falling slowly, I said no me, and I can't. That take me and erase me, and I paint it black. Well, you have suffered enough, and Lord, give yourself. It's time that you come. Take the sinking boat and point it on. We've still got time. Raise your hopeful voice. You have a choice. You've made it now. So gorgeous, you two. I if Thank I you, if I like curated, I couldn't have curated a better show. Like if I went and made like you know what I mean. Like this is all just a lark. Everybody I was so good. Gonna sting. What a beautiful way to. I mean, I don't even know if anyone else will follow that. But um, that was awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank here. you for coming on and sharing your lives and your gifts and your talent, your afternoon with us and here on the show. Thank you. <laughs> for trying to stay in our day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Thank you. <laughs> it feels like you're sitting, you're like slowly like. I know. We're <laughs> falling. We're falling slowly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hop off, but I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, Bye. Bailey. Thanks, Destiny. Bye. Bye. Um, okay, what a gift, man, I'm so blessed. All right, so let me see if my boy's on. And if he is, come on, where are you at? Uh, I see Austin Bases, what's up Austin Bases? Is Reggie Austin out there? Reggie Austin, are you out there? Um, I've only got five minutes left and then Instagram will see that I am cut off promptly at this strike of the hour. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to, Reggie, I'm not seeing you, my man. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna let Brittany Page do her thing because she has asked to sing. 
<clears throat> Hi. Hey. How are you, Brittany? I'm good. How are you? I'm really good. Where are you coming from? Alabama. Alabama. What part of Alabama? It's a small town called Heflin, Alabama. Is it close to Dothan, it's... Alabama? No. No. It's close to Georgia. Okay. My father-in-law was from Dothan, yeah. Alabama. Oh, really? Um, you get to close this out. Do you have a song you want to sing? Okay. Yes. It's um, All Your Life by Ben Perry. Okay. So, here goes. Go for it. Thing. Now, here's the I'll deal. I have four minutes, and if it just cuts off, I didn't hang up on you. It's just that I only have until okay. five, so go for it. Okay. Would you walk to the edge of the ocean? Just to feel my jar with sand. Just in case I get the notion to let it run through my hand. Let it run through my hand. Well, I don't want the whole world. The sun, the moon, and all their light. I just want to be the only girl you love all your life. That's, that's it. That's awesome. Yeah. You did it. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing that with us. You're welcome. You're awesome. You're very awesome. Thanks. Um, are you doing okay in this quarantine and this crazy time? I'm doing pretty good. Just been bored. Bored. That's yeah. About yeah. Okay. Um, well, thank you for coming. You did a good You're job. Welcome. Appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. So sweet. Well, that gives me exactly three minutes to say goodbye to you guys. Um, I um was looking around. Stephanie Butler's there. Stephanie, where are you? Are you camera ready, kid? Where is she? She just went away. Um, all right, guys, what I'm going to do. Oh, my goodness. There's my house. That's my fireplace and my pencil. Okay, I got one minute and 58 seconds remaining. So what I'm going to do instead of bringing somebody else on, I'm just going to send you all off with an old Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you and may the wind be always at your back. Um, go out there this week and or stay inside this week and just hang tight. We're going to make it through this quarantine and it's going to be um, an extraordinary story to tell. I don't know. I've just been watching how much life and how much love and how much creativity uh, has been springing out of this experience. And um, it truly is overwhelming. And I'm so happy that you guys have decided to join me and be a part of this little movement, which is really, really fun. And uh, I've gotten so much encouragement. People are like, I hope you keep doing this. I think the Palaha Chautauqua might live on. Um, so, hey, Caleb. Caleb. You got your guitar, buddy? We got one minute, man. 